This video does not call for violence. The video shows the process of dissecting the lava of a dead insect infected with the Cardiceps fungus. If you are an impressionable person, please stop watching this video. A month ago I took the mycelium of the predatory fungus Cardiceps from the laboratory. This laboratory is engaged in the cultivation of various funguses, but the Cardiceps fungus attract my attention the most. This fungus is interesting not only because of the series and the game The Last of Us. In real life, Cardiceps is a predatory fungus that infects insects. The infected insect is controlled by the fungus and died after some time. From the body of an infected insect, a large spring sprouts, which is called the stroma. In caterpillars and larvae, the stroma sprouts from the head. To me, the infected larvae look like a zombie apocalypse in which a fungus controls them. More than a month has passed since the insects were infected with this fungus. Many cockroaches near the head had shoots one centimeter in size. There are also other shoots visible from the ground. However, previously the surface of the ground was clear. And about a week ago I added a huge cockroach to this aquarium. It is interesting to observe the effect of the Cordyceps fungus on a large insect. Let's take stock of the infection a month later. As I said earlier, many cockroaches are infected, as it can be concluded from the stroma that has grown from the base of their head. Stroma processes are visible from the soil, which means that some insects are underground and most likely already dead. I also noticed that some Zephobus larvae also infected with the fungus Cardiceps. In larvae the stroma sprouts from the head. But what surprised me the most was that one of the larvae was still alive and even moved along the surface of the soil. Many cockroaches have noticeably increased in size, but I am not sure of this is due to their infestation. In the upper layer of soil, a dead infected larva is visible, from the head of which a process is visible. I kept the remain of infected seeds in a small refrigerator, next to the mycelium of the oyster mushroom. And that's what happened to the oyster mushroom mycelium a month later. Under the force of the germination of mushrooms, the bag was turned and some kind of mushroom is visible from it, which in shape is not at all like the oyster mushroom. If you watched The Last of Us, you can compare this mushroom with the head of the clean of the clicking monsters from The Last of Us universe. For many of you it was interesting to see what happens inside the infected lava, and I decided to qualitatively get a dead lava with a process on its head to perform an autopsy and examine the inside of the lava under a modified microscope. If you are an impressionable person, I do not recommend watching this video. The most important task is to prepare a lava of such a small size. The lava needs an autopsy with preservation of damage to internal organs so we could see some changes inside it. You probably noticed the twitchings of the limbs of the lava, but most likely this is already possible the action or carceps on the nervous system of this lava. I will prepare several parts of this lava for detailed examination under a microscope. When I started to cut open the body of the lava, inside it I noticed some kind of phlegmatous processes. There were lots of them. I was under the impression that it was a sprouting fungus inside this lava. Do you think these organic fibers could be part of the fungus? Write about it in the comments below the video. Unfortunately, due to the size of the head of the lava, it will not be possible to cut it properly. But we can see the cut of the head under a microscope to understand how this fungus can take over the body of the lava. 
I decided to begin with studying the lava and sprouted oyster mushroom under the magnification of a pocket microscope. I tried to show everything in details, so that, together with you, we can draw some conclusions. This is what the oyster mushroom sprouted from the bag looks like. This package lay next to the package of Cordyceps mycelium. This is what an infected larva before dissection looks like under slide magnification. This is how a cockroach infected with Cordyceps, from which the stroma is visible, looks like. This is what the head of an infected larva looks like under a slide magnification. Now we need a more powerful microscope, for which we prepared an infected, dissected lava, in order to study it in more detail. This is what the lower abdomen looks like. If you look closely, you can see a lot of organic threads. Perhaps this is cardiceps. This is what one of the paws of the lava looks like. Now we are looking at the contents from the body of the lava, and to me personally it looks like some kind of fungus. This is how the sprout of cardiceps, which is called stroma, looks like. On the section of the head of the lava, many organic threads are visible. Perhaps this is exactly what the infection of the lava looks like from the inside. I hope you were interested. Be sure to write a lot of different comments below the video, to knock it into a recommendation, because I tried very hard for you. Do not forget to like this video. It will be the best thanks from you to my work. And that's all for now. Bye, everyone. April 28. Marlene was right. The girl's infection is like nothing I've ever seen. The cause of her immunity is uncertain. As we've seen in all past cases, the antigenic titers of the patient's cordyceps remain high in both the serum and the cerebrospinal fluid. Blood cultures taken from the patient rapidly grow cordyceps and fungal media in the lab. However, white blood cell lines, including percentages and absolute counts, are completely normal. There is no elevation of pro-inflammatory cytokines, and an MRI of the brain shows no evidence of fungal growth in the limbic regions, which would normally accompany the prodrome of aggression in infected patients. We must find a way to replicate this state under laboratory conditions. We're about to hit a milestone in human history equal to the discovery of penicillin. After years of wandering in circles, we're about to come home, make a difference, and bring the human race back into control of its own destiny. All of our sacrifices and the hundreds of men and women who've bled for this cause, or worse, will not be in vain.